How's it going, YouTube? This is Spearfield7, long time no talk. Today we're going to be playing a full gameplay of Uplink. Um, this is my first game on. I took a couple days off because the lag was really getting to me, and it's been getting to a lot of people lately. Um, but, I mean, all things considered, I have some good games, some bad games, and it's not really as unplayable as so many say. But anyways, since this is my first game of the day, uh, I decided to slay for my teammates, and um, so oftentimes, you know, you have OBJ players, objective players, and you have slayers, and I'm a hardcore OBJ player. I usually am the one diving on flags, I don't care about dying, and, uh, but this one, since I want to get my druthers about me, I don't even know what druthers means, <laughs> I'm going to try to uh, get some kills. Um, on the other team, try to free up some space so my team can get the bomb and go. We've lost the satellite. <laughs> satellite dropped. There really is a purpose to this. Um, I feel like by, by keeping these people occupied and having them know that I am in their spawn, um, it's going to distract them enough away from the bomb that hopefully my teammates can uh, get to the uplink, which is this red thing above me. So uplink is sort of like basketball with guns, right? <laughs> uh, you basically just grab a ball, pass it to your teammates, move down, and uh, put it in the hoop. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh man, we both whiffed. At the beginning of the match, I was like, oh, I'm going to push their spawn, try to knock some people out of it, and uh, I saw my entire teammates were going in front of those barrels, in front of the bomb, and that's just usually your sitting duck. It's very hard to win gunfights when people are jumping around those those uh, head glitches and that kind of thing, so I'm going to try to free up a little bit of space and see what we can do. That guy's got the ball. Why didn't he die? Why didn't he die? Oh my goodness. So, the big popular thing right now is everybody's complaining about the lag in this game, which it is bad, but quite honestly, I don't think it's any worse than any other Call of Duty title. So, I don't know what people were expecting. I, I still feel like a lot of people really haven't adjusted to the new jumping mechanics and everything you can do. Oh, get that guy. Ah, uh, shot in the back. I feel like a lot of people haven't really gotten used to the new dynamic of this game, and I think some people are, you know, taking out their deficiencies on the lag in this game instead of, you know, not quite getting it yet. But yeah, sometimes I get ki I get kills in two bullets. Sometimes I get kills in ten bullets. Sometimes I shoot a whole clip and I don't get a kill at all, <laughs> which is just, you know, it's par for the course for Call of Duty. But anyways, I love this game a lot. Um, I really love uh, momentum a lot. Even though you die a lot, it's just constant action. And if your teammates are good and you're good, you know, you can, you can pull off a... Uh, you know, you can win a game in a minute, or you can have a game go like 30 minutes and, uh, you know, rack up a nice amount of kills in the process. I think my most most kills now is about 58, and my overall KD is pretty pathetic. But as I've been watching YouTube videos, we can get this nice little two-piece. Um, What's funny is I've been seeing a lot of YouTube commentators who I consider to be pretty good players. Ooh, nice! Nice! I uh, consider a lot of these YouTube players to be pretty good, and a couple of them actually have lower KDs, but uh, I am a very aggressive player. I often do it at the, uh, the suffering of my KD. I don't care about KD, I care about winning matches. And sure enough, my win-loss record is pretty abysmal too because I mostly play solo. I mostly play with people who don't play the objective. 
Um, but right now, this is a, this has been a pretty good warm up game right now. I think I think I'm on a nice little streak here. I've been getting tons of bloodthirsties. Nice. I've been getting tons of bloodthirsties, but I still haven't been able to get 10 kills at a time. In this game, it's kind of like you know you get a kill and then expect to die pretty quickly. There's usually somebody there. The spawns are kind of wonky. Um, oh, and there we go. Merciless. My very first Merciless. But anyways, the spawns are kind of wonky. It can be kind of a headache sometimes. And we are getting smacked up. I should... Okay, well, I tried the slaying thing, and I got 27 kills in the first round, which is pretty good. Um, but uh, I clearly need to do more if we're going to win this match. I have a remote turret, which I don't particularly like it, unless it's a sentry gun that runs by itself. I find that a lot of these score streaks kind of stink, because you got to control them all. And you're basically just asking to die. Um, let's sit back. They're probably going to do what I did and go around back. So let's put up a turret and try to control it. I'm going to lay on my belly. Hopefully they don't see me or shoot me here. There's a guy over there. There's a guy over there. We have the satellite. Which, at this point in the game, because they're up 8 to nothing, what they might do is just go for kills because they don't think that we're good enough. Ooh, nice little... Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, he got behind the sentry, No. Okay. Well, I'm gonna get a consolation kill here. Okay, yep, they're, yeah, they're pressing into our spawn. Oh, we're near the uplink. We're near the uplink. We just need to get a kill. We just need to get a kill. Ah, uh, that guy's going around the side. No. Well, let's see if we can cut him off. Let's see if we can get a nice little interception here. Good job, teammates. That's what I like to see. Ooh, wow. I need to check to see if all my teeth are still in my mouth after that bitch slap. This Ron Burgundy guy has been talking the entire game, and he is like the funniest little kid ever. He's like 14 years old. And it's just like every stereotype of shitty Call of Duty personality is embodied in this kid. And he just keeps going in on this guy on the other team. Or maybe it's some guy on the Named the Dark Knight, and he's just like, Dark Knight, where you at? Where you at? Just like over and over again. He thinks he's God's gift to Call of Duty. Which is really the uh, the point of the game, is to make everybody feel like they're the greatest player of Call of Duty. But um, anyways, it's been a lot of fun. I'm probably going to grind pretty hard this weekend because it's double XP weekend. But uh, let's see if we can cut off these guys. Yeah, there's two or three. Missed the long shot. Get the satellite back. Where'd that guy go? Satellite dropped. Okay, protect. Protect this guy. Let's go. Run behind me. Come on. Satellite dropped. Ah. See on this map, I don't like that right satellite side of the map. Dropped where, like I was saying earlier, those head glitches are. I think it's a lot safer to go that direction where I'm shooting right now. My aim has been so off, too, so if you're just like, oh, that's shitty aim, I would probably agree with you at this point. Let's see if we can... I gotta reload. Come on. What? Okay. Say sometimes you just don't know if you got the kill or not. Nice a little dosy -si doe, just kind of snake around back, make them think that someone else was shooting. Satellite 
So I just recently prestiged. I'm in the middle of prestige one. Nice, nice. Wow, these guys are so. Frankly, those dudes on the other team are kind of dumb. Oh man. Felt like that was an end kill, but it's all good. I'm having fun. Oh, spawn killed. What? 41 kills already. Nice. So slaying, it, this is the downside of slaying, guys. When I first started the match, I was like, I'm going to rush their spawn. I'm going to try to keep them occupied as much as possible. Slaying only works when you actually have objective players to play the objective. Um, otherwise, everybody's kind of a slayer. And if you don't have very good gun skill, you're going to get pushed back into your own spawn. And it's going to be ugly. And this, my friends, has been ugly. I really love this BAL uh, auto rifle. Everybody's telling you to use it, and I would totally agree. Once I unlock more stuff, I'll actually show you my classes to give you a good idea of like maybe some options for you for objective game modes and for just normal killing games. Anyways, hope you guys like the gameplay. Sorry I didn't come out with the W, but uh, what can you do when you're rolling solo? And uh, I'll see you soon. This is Spearfield7 saying see you later.